everybody. How's it going? It is December the 10th, day 11 of this Advent reflection journey that uh, I've been on. I don't know how many exactly are, have been joining me for this little ride, but that's okay. Again, this has been this has been more about me just engaging sort of the discipline, the everydayness of you know this Advent season. Uh, actually, today is kind of a weird day, and it's actually like the day is almost over. This is barely happening on day 11, um, Thursday evening. This is the second anniversary of my older brother Bill of his death. He uh, died two years ago with a fairly quick um, cancer struggle, and. Um, so today was uh, the anniversary for his death, um, which obviously sucks. That makes for a bad day. Um, but I like I always like to spend this day and as well as his birthday in May um, doing something or going somewhere that I know he would where he would go or something he would do or place he might hang out or whatever just to I don't know it kind of makes me remember him well and celebrate his life and the impact that he had, you know, and continues to have on my life. Um, so that's really what this day has been about. I went to Indianapolis, visited a couple places, and then hung out with my parents for a little bit. We went out to dinner together and enjoyed a, a restaurant I've never been to, but they had gone to with Bill, so it was kind of special that way. Um, and honestly, I'm not sure what it has to do with the Advent season. <laughs> the passage in uh, Luke chapter 2 is about the shepherds getting the message. Um, the idea that this message of hope and peace, this intervention of God into the human experiment, basically, the incarnation, this happens, this uh, message the angels bring to the shepherds is this juxtaposition of, of glory to God in the highest and then sharing this message with by social and economic standards people who may have been the lowest you know definitely part of this Advent season is um, you know God reaching down to us um, and I like even that phrase of that thought, that idea of, of a down-to-earth kind of message, a down-to-earth God, a uh, down-to-earth gospel, a down-to-earth Advent season. Um, you know, for many people, this time of the year, holidays in general or special seasons, if you've lost someone close to you, they just become extra difficult. There's no way around it. And I know for many of us, many of you, um, that's what you're going through right now. And that's what I'm going through right now. That's what our family's going through right now. Um, having lost my brother two years ago, and then a month later we lost my mother-in-law, who was a very integral part of our daily lives. And that, that really hurt, it continues to hurt. Um, but this message, um, this Advent season, this this whole idea, <laughs> you know, of of God reaching into our lives, our pain, our suffering, is certainly uh, part of the Advent season that should bring us a lot of hope. And and if you're one of those people that's struggling, as I am, um, it's okay. As some would counsel, you know, go ahead and feel your feelings. Um, go ahead and just embrace the grief, the mourning, the pain, the loss, the sense of ah, just some days just dread or just just sadness that, you know, people that we've loved might be gone. So I don't know. I hope that encourages you and helps you in some way. Just, if nothing else, to know that there are others. You know, many of us 
many people are going through these kinds of things during this season. So uh, just be assured, be encouraged. We have a down-to-earth God. We have a God who doesn't leave us alone to grieve and to suffer, cry, lament, and all those things, but is, is with us, has come down to earth to be with us. So that's good news for sure. All right. Have a great one. We'll see you next time.